The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, damn, it feels good to say that. It feels great to say that. It feels great to be back here on YouTube. And before we get back to our regularly scheduled program, you know, back to the grind of, of, of pounding out world-class boxing content, this will be the last time I speak on this subject. So, um, and by the way, I'm on my, I'm on my, I'm on my scooter. Just, I'm not stopping at a park, you know, driving around, driving around South Florida. Um, and basically, uh, I wanted to make this video to address why I made my last video um, about me wanting to leave the sport of boxing for good. Now, before I get into that, let me just take the time to thank every last person, and I mean every last person, who dropped um, encouraging comments, uh, who, who, who really made their thoughts and, and feelings known about just how much what I do here impacts their lives for the better. Um, I never knew that what I did here had such a, such a profound impact on people, you know, and so many people at that. So thank you for that. You know, um, it, 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 damn, it, it moved me to tears. It moved me to tears to read some of the guys' comments. And um, it really gave me that motivation and, 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 and it, it reassured me that this is where God wants me to be, you know, not, not anywhere else. So um, I really appreciate everybody who reached out from friends to family to people I don't even know. You know, I love, I love every last one of you guys. Now, why did I make that video? What brought me to that sunken place where I decided to say that I'm leaving the sport of boxing? Let, 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 let's get into that. Let's get into that. So as many of you guys know, I was gone away from South Florida for roughly over two months, and um, that definitely played a role. I'm, I, I think being homesick played a role in as to why I was feeling so down. So that played a role. You know, I, I love where I'm from. You know, right now I'm in a park. You guys see it's beautiful. It's beautiful here. You know, it's, I, I wouldn't want to live anywhere else but South Florida. Um, aside from that, as to what in boxing specifically triggered that, you know. There's things in boxing that I've always known have existed. Like I, I, I've always known corruption to be a thing. I've always known for, you know, favoritism amongst networks, amongst certain fighters at networks to be a thing. But it, when you when you go to Las Vegas, right, and you immerse yourself in the boxing culture, and you talk to people, and you learn things, you know, and you get exposed to things going to fights. You know, you really get exposed to these things on a larger scale, like, and 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 that's that's what really got to me. Seeing seeing how promoters try to get certain fighters beat or get certain fighters to win, you know, things like that. Um, but everybody comments on the video. I saw a lot of comments. With everybody saying, "What does BT know that we don't know?" And to be honest, it's not anything. It's not anything that you guys don't already assume about boxing, you know. Um, it's not, you know, it's just, it's basically just the mistreatment of fighters, the mistreatment of fighters, the corrupt nature of the business. Um, it just got to me like it, like it, like it does the most. It wasn't a surprise to me. It wasn't a shock to me. It wasn't a, a, something that came out of left field. I always knew boxing was corrupt because we live in a corrupt world. We live in a corrupt fallen society. So everything in this world is corrupt. So for me to sit here and say, oh, well, boxing's corrupt. No, the world is corrupt. And anywhere I go, I'm going to find corruption. If I, go work at, if, I, if I go work a job at Publix, I'm going to go find corruption. If I get a job at McDonald's, if I work in corporate America, if I work for, on Wall Street, I'm going to find corruption no matter where, where we go. You know, so that's how this world is. Um, at some point in time, we all wind up chasing the wind at some point. But be, uh, due to the ridiculous, and I mean the ridiculous, overwhelming outpour that we got from people, from the phone calls to the emails to the text messages to the Instagram messages to the YouTube comments, all that, you know, it's reassured me that this is where I have to be. This is where I have to be. You know, boxing is, 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 is the place for me, the passion, you know, even though I was angry and I said what I said in the video, I think I was just... I was just mad at boxing and homesick as well. So now that I'm home and whatnot, well, I think I'm a, lot, I'm, a, I'm a lot better, you know. And you know, finally boxing. Who's gonna cover South Florida boxing? You know, I can't let I can't let South Florida down. If I leave boxing, 
who the fuck else you guys gonna go watch? You gonna go watch Ellie Segback? You gonna go watch, you know, the mother channels that 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 are that are manipulated by the by, by the powers that be in boxing? You know, nobody can manipulate me. Nobody can manip manipulate me. And and for those of you out there that were said that that were assuming that somebody bullied me off of YouTube, you got me fucked up. I'm the untouchable. I'm Brendan Taylor. Can't nobody bully me off YouTube. I'm gonna be here. Anyway, with that being said. I really appreciate everybody, um, you know, boxing and the boxing business is a dark play. It is, it, it, it is a dark, corrupt business. We know this. It's been that way dating all the way back to the days of the Italian mob and Frankie Carbo and Blinky Palermo and all them guys. If you don't, if you don't know who those guys are, go Google them. Okay. Boxing's always been a corrupt and dark business, but you know, I'm going to make this very, very clear. I'm a Christian. All right. I believe in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, the Savior of humanity, okay? And not to get too biblical, but to get biblical at the same time, the good book says, the Bible says there that, um, you know, when there's darkness in the world, it's our job, and I'm paraphrasing, but it's our job to be the light, a light to the world, you know? Let your light shine throughout this dark, fallen world. So that's what I'm here to do. This is bigger than boxing. This is bigger than just me being successful this is bigger than just even giving you guys great content which brings me great joy to do this is about being a light to the world a light unto the world in the midst of darkness in the sport of boxing so i'm gonna leave it at that um once again i'm gonna move on and get back to my normal grind starting on monday so um you know if you got any suggestions of things that you haven't seen me talk about uh, drop them in the comments down below. Give me your video suggestions down in the comments down below and I'll try to knock out as many of them as possible because I know there's a lot people want to hear from me in regards to the sport and boxing. But again, once again, I wouldn't have come back if the, if the response and the outcry wasn't so overwhelming. And just some of the things that you guys told me about what my videos and my content have done in your life and, and, and things like, 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 like that, like that really touched my heart. That, like that touched my heart in places it's probably never been touched, you know, and I, and I, and I was I was moved to tears, you know. Um, I had friends that aren't normally talkers text me paragraph messages. I had friends having nervous breakdowns throwing up everywhere, you know. I didn't realize how much this stuff meant to so many people. And you know, a lot of times when you're when you're going through the grind and you're and you're doing these videos and you're looking at views and subscribers and all that bullshit that really don't mean anything at the end of the day. You want to be at a certain place. You're not there. You're getting discouraged. You think nobody's watching. You think your videos aren't being enjoyed by anybody. But there's lots of people that love my content. So for you guys, um, I will continue to press forward. You know, um, when I first came into the YouTube game, right? When I first came into the YouTube game covering boxing, from like 2016 to 20, no, from 2015. To 20 to early 2017 that was like my first act on youtube that was like me establishing myself right me establishing myself me show, showing to the boxing world and to myself that i can produce good, really good content right that was act one act two is from the summer of 2017 to just when i was in vegas you know it's me um continuing to build and like reaffirm myself in the boxing world that hey i am really good at this and then this I'm looking at from from now from now to whenever I decide to really walk away from this and when that day comes I'm not gonna make a video about it if that day comes ever I don't think it will because this is this is what I want to do and I know that I know that now more than ever now that I've gone through my trial and tribulations and seen what God has done and how peace used people to speak to me from now to the day that I either die or retire from covering boxing um this is this is this is it. This is this is this is the, my third act. The 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 act of self actualization and and, and and even doing better than I did in the first two acts. So I appreciate everybody. Um, I won't let you guys down. You know, um, I really want to make this sport a better place, and I want people to really enjoy and respect boxing. So that's that's what I'm here for as an ambassador for the sport of boxing. Someone who loves boxing and someone who wants to make this sport better for everybody. So. Um, I'm gonna leave it at that. You know, I've come such a long way in my life because of the sport of boxing. You know, I remember I'm 26 now, but I remember nine years ago when I was 17, not too far away from graduating high school. I remember this clearly. 
I remember that I, um, I looked out the window one day at school and I thought about the future. I thought about what I wanted to be in life and who I wanted to become and what path I wanted to pursue. And I didn't really know what I wanted to do in life. Um, I just knew I wanted to do, to do something in sports. And I, I didn't come from the best background, you know. Um, my dad and I, we, didn't, we, you know, we grew up fucking poor. You know, the, for the for the second half of my childhood, we grew up poor, straight up. We couldn't rub we, we couldn't rub two nickels together sometimes. We were that broke. And um, by the grace of God, we were able to survive and and, 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 and still live a decent life uh, through hard work and determination. But you know, I, I I didn't have the best circumstances in life. Pops. And my mom split when I was younger, when I was like three years old. My father worked his ass out to, to make sure I, I, I had food on the table. And God bless him for that. He did what he needed to do as a man. And um, I didn't think that I would even make it this far in life. And boxing uh, took me further, took me around the world. And for me to even consider turning my back on the sport, you know, I've, I've, I've done something wrong with that video. So I really repent and I'm sorry for it. Um, but we're back. And better like and better than ever and you know um just god bless everybody and uh, the untouchables here to stay and, you know just uh if there's any video suggestions if there's anything in boxing that i've missed that you really you really 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 want to see me talk about and i might have missed it because i'll be honest with you i haven't really been, i haven't really been keeping track of the boxing news i've just been in here in south florida um you know catching up with some friends I just got done seeing my mother, who I haven't seen in a year, and you know we're working on that as well, getting close to our mother, because we have to learn how to respect our mother a lot more, and, and, and treat my mother with more class and dignity and respect, and we're working on that. But um, you know, seeing my mother, seeing some friends, catching up with my dad, you know, getting that time off that I need so that when I come back, I can go a thousand percent and go somewhere that mentally I've never even gone before. So that's what we're gonna do, because you guys have made my life so amazing i've met so many great people through this sport this sport has given me so much in life um it's helped give me life god's placed me here and it's give it's it's helped give me life and i just don't want to let you guys down ever again like that so I, i'm sorry for that and um just thank you for the messages and, and the support and uh it's always the untouchable true school sports empire so uh, leave your comments down below any videos i missed that you want to see anything in boxing i missed leave it down below i'll get to it in, in a timely manner and like i say in every single one of these videos you can love me or you can hate me but i'm just a kid from dania and i'll always be just a kid from dania and until next time take care guys